Are you one of the millions of Americans that has high cholesterol? Well, if you are, stay tuned for this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Paulina and today I'm going to be talking about Lipitor and why we usually prescribe it for high cholesterol. So what is Lipitor? Lipitor's name that is a generic is Atorvastatin. And atorvastatin is one of the statin drugs that belongs to the statin family. Other statins you might have heard of are lovastatin or mevacor, prevastatin or lipostat, simvastatin or socor. All have similar effects on cholesterol but have different biological properties and potencies. So statins are a group of drugs that belong to the same family and they are HMG CoA reductase inhibitors. Basically this is an enzyme that prevents you from making cholesterol in your blood when you're taking the medication. So statins are the first line drug for treating high cholesterol. Even if you don't have high cholesterol, they can be used in conjunction with other drugs to treat coexisting comorbidities like if you have heart disease or if you had a heart heart attack if you had a stroke or for example if you are a diabetic we use statins also to treat diabetes in general statins are great drugs to help slow down the disease process overall how does lipitor work Lipitor is actually a, what we call the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. So basically the way it works is that in your blood, it reduces the amount of LDL, your bad cholesterol. So Lipitor goes into your blood and finds this enzyme, HMG-CoA reductase, and blocks it from making that particle, which is the LDL. When do we prescribe Lipitor? Lipitor, like I said, is first line for treating high cholesterol or if you have been diagnosed for coronary artery disease. People that should not take Lipitor are people with liver problems, pregnant women, or women who are breastfeeding. Lipitor can be used alone or it can be used with other medications to help your cholesterol stay low. If you're taking this medication for over a period of time, it's important to follow up with your provider because they will want to monitor your liver function. So if you're prescribed Lipitor, when should you take it? Or how should you take it? So for most people, it works best if you take it at night and you don't need to necessarily take it with food, but it is recommended you take it with a full glass of water. Again, think about it like this. You want to be taking your medication consistently, so if you're doing it at the same time of the day, it's less likely that you'll forget. But even if you're feeling fine and things are going well, it's still important to follow up with your provider to make sure that the medication is taking its effect and that there's nothing else that we need to worry about. So let's talk about dosing. Lipitor comes in different formulations. You can start at 10 milligram, 20 milligram, 40 milligram, and 80 milligrams. So your initial dose of Lipitor basically depends on how high your cholesterol is. Based on the severity of your high cholesterol, then we dose the medication. Other things that can affect your dosing might be other comorbidities that you might have, or how you responded to the initial dose, or if, for example, you develop any side effects. So for the most part, one of the times that I prescribe a torvastatin the most is in the hospital. When patients come in with a heart attack, uh, we typically start them on the highest dose, which is 80 milligrams. 80 milligrams is the max, so really you should be getting the full effect. All right, let's talk about side effects. So atorvastatin is actually one of the medications that we have studied very well, and we know that it's safe for use, but 
That doesn't mean that it doesn't have side effects. And the side effects can vary from one person to another. So some of the more common side effects are diarrhea, upset stomach, or one of the more common things that I see is something called myositis. So this can feel like muscle soreness, uh, some fatigue or weakness. This pain can be like mild or it can be se severe enough that it affects your daily activities. If you've been prescribed Lipitor and you feel like you might be having a side effect, make sure that you talk to your doctor and sort through if this is actually a side effect or another problem but it's important not to discontinue your medication without first consulting with your doctor. How does Lipitor interact with other drugs? If you are taking Lipitor, it's important that you know that it can interact with other supplements or foods. The most common one is grapefruit juice. So if you happen to love grapefruit, grapefruit juice, make sure you tell your doctor this because it can affect how Lipitor works in your body. And it's also important to just be open and honest about any other herbal supplements or vitamins you might be taking. All right, so let's move on to some of the questions I get asked about Lipitor. And the first one is, what do I do if I forget to take my medication? Well, if it's been more than 12 hours and you're gonna be due for your next dose pretty soon, then I would not play catch up. So just wait for your next dose and take it at that time, but don't take double the dose. If you're taking Lipitor, it's important to keep track of your alcohol intake. So I would say no more than three alcoholic drinks in one day for sure. I already mentioned this, but if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, it's important to discontinue the use of your statin during these times. And again, if you're having side effects, make sure that you don't discontinue the use of your medication without first talking to your doctor. And then the last question, and I get this probably the most, is, well, I'm gonna take it now, but I don't wanna be dependent on it. And I think it's an important thing to think about for sure. Medication helps to keep the cholesterol down, but a lot of the things that we can do are lifestyle modifications that will naturally keep your cholesterol down and that can help to come off of the medication at some point. But again, if you have other uh, health problems, this might not be an option for you. So last thoughts are basically Lipitor will not cure high cholesterol, but it can help you manage it and it can help you avoid the long-term effects of having high cholesterol, which are all scary, heart attack, stroke, being two of the more common ones. But again, it's one of the ways that we can help to manage it. And it's important that you have a conversation with your doctor about your preferences in taking the medication and work with them to come up with an individualized plan for you. And that's all for my video today. I hope you guys learned something. And if you have high cholesterol or high cholesterol runs in your family, make sure you go and see your doctor every year because I see this way too much in my primary care office where it just goes unchecked for so long and we it's easy to manage and it's easy to fix. So I would definitely, definitely encourage you to go see your own doctor. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there are other topics you'd like me to talk about. And if you haven't already yet, subscribe and like this video so I know you guys are enjoying this content. And as always friends, be good, be safe, and be healthy. Bye now.